So this automatically tells us that it cannot be Q and it cannot be R because there are neither a ketone, there is, there is no CO peak, there is no carbon oxygen double bond peak. So it can neither be Q nor R. So now we know that this is the infrared spectrum of compound P. But we will have to prove this further. So we have already proved that it can be possible for Q and for, it cannot be possible, sorry. It cannot be possible for Q and for R. So it is possible for P. But we have to show how it's possible for, 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 for P. Now, P has the OH of alcohols. And you can see a very strong and broad peak over here. Now, you can see a strong and broad peak at around 3400, 3400 and 3500. So, uh, this is characteristic of the OH of alcohols. So, this is correct, which means this can be assigned to the OH group of alcohols. So, this proves that yes, somewhat it can be the spectrum for P. Then the next thing you will see over here is that uh, for the nitrile group, it's between 2200 and 2250. This is 2200, this is 2250 and you see this over here. So th this is a strong peak between 2200 and 2250 and it's characteristic for the nitriles. So this means this proves the presence of the nitrile group. So we have proved the presence of the nitrile group, we have proved the presence of the OH group and now we can prove the presence of, of the um, so uh, of the CH group. Yeah, so we can prove the presence of the CH group because if you see there is a strong and sharp peak above 3000 and if you look at the data booklet for CH we'll have a strong and sharp peak above 3000. So we have proved all three bonds in this and we have also proved that the missing CO group from both uh, from from the spectrum means it cannot be Q and R. So we have proved that this is the spectrum of P using the bonds in P and we have proved this is not the spectrum of Q and R by using the bonds in Q and R. So let's move forward now. So I think this is the last question. A reaction of another unsaturated carboxylic acid T is shown. So this is an unsaturated carboxylic acid T. Uh, it's unsaturated because of this carbon carbon double bond over here. And U, so this is U, okay, so this is uh, T and U, so let's just, before we read anything else, let's just see uh, what is different in T and U. The carboxylic acid is the same, the bromine is the same, the C6H13 side chain is the same, so this means the only difference is that there is no alkene bond, which means uh, T has been hydrogenated to form U. The CBR bond has an absorption between 500 per centimeter and 600 per centimeter, in an infrared spectrum, okay. The infrared spectrum for both T and U have absorptions between 2850 per centimeter and 2950 per centimeter. These correspond to CH bonds, okay. Identify two other absor absorptions that would be seen in the infrared spectrum of both T and U and one other absorption that would only be seen in the infrared spectrum of T. So we have to uh, see two common and one uh, and one uncommon. So for each absorption, give the range of the absorption and the bonds that correspond to these absorptions. Okay, so we know that for T and U, the BR is common, but they have already talked about the BR. So we cannot include it here. We know that the CH bond is common, the carbon hydrogen bond, but they have also included that. So now we know that the carboxylic, group, car carboxylic acid group is common. They have not included that over here. So we, we, can, we can talk about the carboxylic acid group. But, and there are two things to each carboxylic acid group. There is the carbon oxygen double bond and there is the OH group of carboxylic acids. Carbon oxygen double bond and the OH group of carboxylic acids. So, uh, now, now, so, so now we know there are two things common. One is the CO group that is common in both because of the carboxylic acid and one is the OH group of carboxylic acids. So these can be our absorption 1 present in both spectra and absorption 2 present in both spectra. So uh, CO of carboxylic acids. I, I'm, I'm going to write carb acids to make it quicker but you will write the full thing. CO of carboxylic acids and if you look at the data booklet this is between 1680 and 1730. Sorry I'll just... Uh, that 1680 to 1730 per centimeter.